world. In this screencast, I'm going to talk about web scraping using Python and specifically using this um, recreation.gov uh, campsite checker. Uh, so here's the code. Let's go and take a look at that. And uh, at its core, it's got a pretty good idea which is to um, go to recreation.gov and uh, check a campground for um, an input uh, date and then it will put an emoji if there's a, one available. Uh, so really neat code. Let's take a look at what it looks like in practice. So you can see I've, I've run some up here. I'm going to go and clear this out and just use some up arrows to go through a couple of my tests. Uh, <coughs> so here I'm just pulling this file from the code and then I have my um, test uh, commands right there. So this one's for Arrow's sake. Um, we'll go and we'll look. We can see um, Python 3, camping py, start date, end date, and then the campsite ID. You can see, cool, there's 30 of 40 sites available. If we go to recreation.gov and we look here, I went and looked on the website to find, to check these dates, 8th and 9th to make sure there were sites available for this campground. So I knew the script was going to work before. Say you want to go somewhere with high um, high visitation and low campsite availability. The web scraper doesn't isn't going to help you there. Right? Um, say you wanted to go to Lower Pines and you have somebody one of the most sought after campsites. I'll go ahead and make this full screen. And you click check availability and we can see that there's nothing you got a bunch of X's which means unavailable you can go to next available nothing in May nothing in June and July and we can just keep going and going and going You're not going to get anything at North Pines right well, we can use this script to quickly check um, everything is somebody has to offer for a big date. So those are Yosemite's three or four campgrounds. Right, so Tuolumne Meadows, nothing Lower Pines, nothing. Base Montana Campground, nothing. Right, so it's not gonna help you at uh, any of the um, big sought after sites. Let's even go up here. I'm going to change the end date to, let's change this to 7.15 and run it again. So we're going all the way into July, doing a bigger range. Um, still nothing. Let's add another three months to it and go to October. Nothing. about December. Let's go to the last day of the year. So, you know, unfortunately, if you're trying to use software to help with the booking process, I think web, op web automation is going to be a better way to do that. Um, or just using the interface directly. But that's what this script looks like when it is working. And if you are trying to, you know, get up to date campsite information on one of the many campsites on recreation.gov that has low visitation, so not a national park that has high visitation, um, this uh, might work well for you. Hope that explanation helps. And I'll go ahead and link all these resources in the tutorial. So I'll link rec.gov and the, um, of course, this open source um, GitHub project. 
and thanks to the folks who contributed this because um, I think it's really cool what they're doing even if it's not 100% functional as of yet.